What a day. Can you believe that they let me, stupid northern idiot, on board a four million, nearly four million pound yacht? Unbelievable. And she is gorgeous. I ain't going to mess around. Let's just get into it. As you can see, the lines are absolutely unbelievable. 72 foot long. Um, just ignore the scum in the water. That's one of them things. The woodwork is utterly fantastic. She uh, she was just gleaming. Um, and the quality, the joinery on it is absolutely unreal. I was completely and utterly in love. Um, and look at that ass. My God. There's water coming out there. I don't know if they had the generator running or possibly the... Um, Aircon or something, but yeah, look at the woodwork on her. I oh, hope that's not my footprint. Uh, three spreaders. I think it might be a carbon mast. No, I don't think it is a carbon mast. Yeah, if you want details, you probably go for somebody else. I'm just perving at the thing. Um, all flush hatches. Winches out there um, on the deck that can do all the lines from the mast. Uh, look at that. Oh my god. This is just going to be a video of me saying, Oh my god, look at that. And these flush windows, like, let a load of light into the uh, interior. Ooh, it's fancy. Oof. Uh, instruments at the base of the mast. Uh, all B&G kit, so it'll be wind, angle, everything, blah, 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 speed. Big chunky gooseneck and spirit yachts. This for me is a piece de la resistance. Look at that for a helm station. It's utterly. Oh dear. And here we go. So the owner wanted to uh, have a very classic style inside where you come down and you can see all the way through the boat, um, which I didn't get a shot of. But yeah, here's the galley, nice twin sink, big fiddles all the way around for grabbing onto, uh, induction cooking, um, uh, electric oven obviously, then you've got all your refrigeration and stuff like that, uh, port side galley. The woodwork is honestly second to none. Ooh, super snazzy oven. Uh, and this is the light that those windows let in. That's fantastic, isn't it? All beautiful joinery. Uh, yeah, so starboard side aft cabin is a twin aim. I didn't miss. See, these boats are semi customizable, so you can actually get kind of what you want. Um, little access outside, little port light outside. Uh, and then there's an ensuite bathroom there, which actually has a door out into the um, living area as well, so that acts as a day head when not in use as a night cabin. Starboard side pretty much replicated yeah. apart from the ensuite doesn't have the door. Moving forward along the starboard yeah. side you can see a nav station there and a chart table. Lots of fancy buttons. Those are little OLED screens I think to show the um, the doodads. Uh, there is a C-Zone system on board as well and then we're going to move forward yeah, into yeah. the salon which I'll show you now. Um, yeah. Come on, how much do you just want to lounge there in your four million pound yacht and, I don't know, have somebody feed your grapes? Master Cabin. Here oh, we go. Else, My word. I don't even need to speak. Look at it. A couple of little chairs there for sticking your shoes on and stuff. Um, she, oh, what can you say? It's gorgeous. Another little office there for the uh, owner. And then the owner's bathroom in yonder. It's not bad, is it? You know, I've been on worse boats. Wipe me on. And every other boat I've ever been on. And unfortunately, that concludes the uh, amount of footage I got. I will never make a boat walk you round shower. What's the word? Tora, boat tour video making. I'm not alcoholic. He's fantastic, and um, naughty guys. They're awesome. Anyway, 
that's all the footage I got. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the engine room and the um, under the cockpit soul and stuff like that for obvious reasons. They're at a boat show. They don't need some bleed blithering idiot with a camera mucking around in there. Um, unless you're a famous blithering idiot with a camera, which I'm not. Um, so that's the end of the footage. I am going to put some details up and some stock images and stuff like that and talk through the boat a little bit. Just bits of information I can find. So if you want to watch that, stick around. If not... So I thought the best place to look for details is Spirit Yacht's website. Um, the lady did give me a card actually and said that I could go and uh, email her to get any more details. But you know what? You can find those out. Um... I'm rubbish at this stuff, as you all know. So, uh, Spirit Yachts website, spirityachts.com. Uh, they're actually built in Ipswich, which is fantastic. Um, and there's so many things that I missed. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Uh, yeah, so, it is a carbon mast and boom. A nitronic rod rigging. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Uh, electric um, winches, as everybody would expect. And then... Uh, lithium batteries and you can also have uh, solar panels flush on the deck I don't believe that I saw any solar panels on there um, although you can correct me because I'm correctable um, yada 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 dooby 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 so it says on here the forward master suite and blah 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 but I'll fit it. Ah, a twin crew cabin forward of the saloon completes the interior. However, alternative interior layers are available. Like I said, these are semi-customizable. So, if we go down to here, we can see on this one it has the two aft cabins, like the same as uh, the one that we looked at, uh, and the galley and everything in the same place in the sofa. However, the uh, forward cabin. This must be the standard layout. This owner had the bed right up here, didn't he? And the um, bathroom and such there to give that sort of straight through feeling. I get the feeling this uh, uh, door was actually moved more central as well uh, with the bathroom there. So I don't think there is a crew compartment on the boat that we looked at um, because they did mention that they can put uh, crew bunks, Pullman berths in this sort of area somewhere. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a different layout basically. All of Zispex are there. Uh, big Yamaha 150 horsepower engine. It does 10 knots under power, which is ridiculous. Um, that's about all the info that info that I've got. But what we can do is perv on some pictures because who doesn't like perving on pictures of beautiful boats? Oof. This does it far more justice than my stupid camera work does. Look at her. That ass. So I think that is hole number one. Um, I believe hole number one was shown at Cannes. Uh, although I might be wrong. Uh, and the boat that we looked at was hole number two, which was the UK de debut of it. Wow, look at these. They're cool, aren't they? I want some. So when I spec my four million pound yacht, which will inevitably be eight, because I want loads of snazzy stuff on it, uh, I'm going to spec those. There's some people having the the time of their lives, no doubt. Who wouldn't? Oh, she's so pretty. Why does my phone go off every time I'm doing anything? Oh, so this is a completely different uh, style on the interior, isn't it? With the uh, the contrasting dark and light woods. Um, and as you can see, the entrance to the master is offset on this one, whereas it was centralised on the one that we looked at. So yeah, uh, like I say, semi-customisable. I actually prefer the one that we were in. Yeah, that's super funky. Yeah, you can see a decent uh, overview of the layout with the two aft cabins there, the walkway out, and the two uh, bogs, as I call them. Basically, me and you now are just looking at pictures together. You could do all this on your own. I don't know why. If you're still watching, thank you. Uh, I don't know why you are.
I'm full of rubbish. So, oh, this is a different layout, isn't it? With the uh, the master slightly off to the port side and the uh, bedroom heads in front. Ooh, where's that? I don't know where that is. Is there an entire cabin that I missed? Hell, I don't know. Oh no, those are the aft cabins, they're just done up differently. Yeah, they're just set up differently. Uh, different electronic suite on this one. So I believe this was hole number one, and I believe it's set up for the charter market. So uh, the person who owns hole number two, I believe, is for personal use. So that's probably why there's a bit of a different in the uh, in the loadout sort of thing. Oh, she's so pretty. Have we seen these? Yeah, we've seen these. Right, well, I think that about concludes. Um, oh, look, they're at the Southampton Boat Show. It's almost like I know that, because I watched it. Yes, yes, we're just reading websites together now. Uh, this has got weird. Uh, there was actually a picture of them in build somewhere, I think. No, that's not it. Uh, I'll probably cut this bit out. but Naturally, I didn't cut it out, because when we fail, we fail together. Um, yeah, so that was that. That was my first faffing about at a boat show, really. First boat. I said, have I stepped on a boat show? Because it had to be her, didn't it? Uh, anyway, that is it for today. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Who are you, you bellend? Ugh.